Hello, welcome back to Cracking a Cryptic on a Sunday evening and uh, oh, a lovely looking puzzle today and very interesting rule set. I'm really looking forward to having a go at a puzzle by MicroStudy and welcome to the channel as a constructor, MicroStudy. It's debut time. We'll look at the rules which include dots and doots in a moment. Um, but first of all, uh, do think about our Patreon challenge the Alice in Sudoku Land Hunt by Monty Knox, The Asylum and Panthera. It is a brilliant set of Japanese Sam Sudokus. Rave reviews. There's still time to get three puzzles done and enter the competition. Um, and we'd love it if you joined us on Patreon and had a go at that or looked at some of the crossword content or anything you like. Um, loads going on always there. Loads going on on the channel too with Simon posting crosswords every week for a while now um various other things too low i mean obviously there's two variant sudokus every day or something very like them um and you can try our apps loads of variant sudoku there eight brilliant apps uh two of them accessible from the same the newest ctc app where if we do well when we do release more they'll all go into that app that's why it's there now um anyway check them out because they are great puzzles. And there's also our merchandise, which you could look at too on the links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle by MicroStudy called Croup Key Wonderland, uh, which links in very well with the Alice in Sudoku land, doesn't it? Now, and of course there is a crop key, no, there is a, uh, a domino Sudoku app, which features a lot of crop key rule sets as well as XV and sometimes mixed with others. Anyway, Normal Sudoku rules apply in this puzzle. So numbers one to nine go in each row, each column, and each three by three box. Digits separated by a white crop key dot must be consecutive. Digits separated by a black crop key dot must have a ratio of one to two. There's only a few of those. Sets of digits separated by a white crop key doot, the long ellipse looking things, says the rule set, must have their respective sums be consecutive. So that group of cells add up to something which is one away from the sum of that group of cells. And sets of digits separated by a black crop key doot must have their respective sums be in a one to two ratio. So those might add up to eight and those might add up to 16, say. Uh, there's no negative constraints. So there's no, you know, there may be missing crop key dots and doots as it were. Very interesting idea from MicroStudy. Very keen to give this a go. There might be a lot of maths involved. There's a, there's a, or arithmetic anyway. That's just a little warning, but I've no idea. I'm gonna give it a try now, see what happens. Let's get cracking. I want to start in this middle box because of the one white and the one black. Okay, the thing I know about the parity of those six cells is that they add up to an odd number because whatever number that is, is either even or odd. And whatever number that is, is one away from it. So between them, there's one even and one odd. And when you add those together, that's odd. So this set add up to an even number. Now that's a shame. If they'd added up to an odd number, they would be the half of that group. So that didn't really do anything. Okay, what about this set? two black dudes in a box. Oh, and those consecutives. Right, come on, think about this. Now, I was tempted to think that if you, you go one way up or another way up, and if you take that sum and double it, you get that sum, and if you double it again, you get that sum. That is a very risky way of looking at it, and indeed that won't work, and it's not true. And the reason I know that is because if that added up to x and you doubled it to get that, that would add up to 2x. If you then doubled that again to get this, that would be 4x and the whole box would add up to 7x. There's a bit of basic algebra for you. The whole box does not add up to 7x because the whole box adds up to the sum of the digits 1 to 9. Uh, by rule and that sum is always 45 and is not divisible by 7. So this doesn't go take those, double them to be those, double them again to be those. It either goes x, 2x, x. But I don't think it does that either because x plus 2x plus x is 4x and 45 is not divisible by 4. 
So instead, it goes 2x, x, 2x. And that gives us 5x. 45 is divisible by 5, and x is 9, and that group of cells adds up to 9. And they're consecutive, so they must be 2, 3, 4. And that's a lovely start, actually, to the puzzle. I really enjoy doing that. Now, up here, ooh, look at this, this double black dot. This is either, I think, there's no reason why this doesn't apply in this puzzle. This is either a 1, 2, 4 set adding up to 7. And in that case, you would never get anywhere near the 45 total. 1, 2, 4. I mean, if this added up to 8 and that 9, that's the most you could get to. That's nonsense. So this is a 2, 4, 8 set. We can actually put the 4 in the middle. The 2, 8 pair there. They add up to 14. Now, to get to the 45 with one difference in the sums, this lot must add up to 15 and that lot must add up to 16. 14 plus 15 plus 16 is a sum of three sets averaging 15, which we know makes 45. So there is a three in this group and they add up to 16. So the cells that add up to 13 that go with the three are not eight, five or four, nine. So they are six, seven. So this is a 159 set. I like this puzzle. This is a 678 group. Now, the, the dots don't tell me much about this. And indeed, I found out I couldn't really use these black dots yet. So can I use that? No, I don't know. We've, oh, hang on. These two add up to 2x. And, and that group and that group both add up to 2x. So this group, which consists of digits from not two, three, four, or six, seven, so from one, five, eight, nine, adds up to two lots of nine, that's 18. They must be nine, eight, one. And this is five, six, seven, which is also 18. So we get a triple here of one, three, nine, and a triple here of two, four, five. Now there may be other ways of going about this puzzle, but it's all I've thought of. Right, that can't be a one or a three on this white dot. So that's a nine with an eight there. Now we might get a handle on the numbers on this black doot. So nine, eight, well, it's gotta be the bigger number. The most this can add up to is 15 and we're already up to 17 plus here. So it's got to add up to an even number because it's two times that lot. So that is an odd number to make that work. 22 they now add up to. This set adds up to 11. Ah. And that could be 362 or 164, couldn't it? Yeah. This, this group adds up to 11. That's odd. That's even. 11's an odd total. That has to be even. That's a 6. So we get a 7 there. Now, this lot adds up to 11. Oh, and this lot adds up to 12. So there is basically a pair adding up to five there and a pair adding up to five there, and I don't get to resolve those. But look, we've got a pair adding up to four here on this black dot. So that pair adds up to eight, not two, because two would require two ones. I don't know how to pencil mark that that adds up to eight. I might just go full goodliff and do one, two, three, four, five, seven there. And I know it can't be a one because we can't have a seven here. So the complements of those to make eight are, and we can't have double four either. So actually it's not as many digits to pencil mark as I'd expected. Now here, these two on this black dude add up to seven or nine. So that pair adds up to 14 or 18 because you can't halve seven or nine. You'd get a fraction. Well, it can't be 18, that would require two nines. So it's seven, and this pair adds up to 14, which can't be a nine five pair because neither of them could go in that cell. So it's six eight that way around. Gosh, this is lovely. I mean, it's unfolding quite quickly, but it's very clever. Now, what else can we do about this stuff? What else, what else are we looking for here? I'm not really 100% sure because I don't think I mean, I know the digits from which this is taken are 1, 2, 3, 5, 9, but I don't know. It's got harder now there isn't a full box with 
everything in it contributing to, to digit sums. Ah, oh, these are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. I'm wondering if they can possibly be the 2x of an x there. The most that could be is 14, 7, 4, 3. Well, this couldn't be 1, 2, 4, adding up to 7 because of that. But could it then add up to 12? 7, 4, 1 does. Then this could add up to 6 and be 1, 2, 3. What would happen then? If that was 7, 4, 1, this would be a 2, 3 pair adding up to 5. This would have to add up to 10. And this was 1, 2, 3. That would have to be 4, 6. And that would break this cell. I mean, that's more complicated. And given the, the rest of this puzzle, that may be unnecessary. But it works very neatly. So all I'm concluding here is that this can't be double the lower side of this doot. Because the, these have to add up to at least 6. The most these can add up to is 14. That doesn't work because that can't be 1, 2, 4 making 7. It also doesn't work for this to be 1, 2, 3, because that would put a 4 here. And the 7, 4, 1 possibility there would make those be 2 and 3, adding up to 5. They would have to add up to 10, and that's impossible once you've used 1, 2, 3, 4. So all I've concluded is that this is half of that group. I'm not sure how useful that is, actually. Sorry, maybe, maybe this was not a clever way to go about this. These could be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, again leaving 12 or 14 this side. Not sure what else they could be. One. Oh, I suppose they could be 1, 2, 7, leaving 20 this side. Yeah, that, this, was, this was not a smart approach. I don't even know how to mark. I'm going to put that as blue and that as orange, as the higher total, just so just because it might be useful later if I come back to that in a while and need to remember it. It's something. Um, sorry, this, that, well, that was totally duff. Let's try this black dude. Oh, oh, hang on. Right. Now I can use what I did before a bit. Those whites, those three on a white with three on a white must add up to an odd total. Okay, those add up to an even total. That's not actually all that helpful. Here, we can't use 8, 7, 6, or 4. We're making this up from 9, 5, 3, 2, and 1. The most it can add up to is 18. Which, uh, 17, actually. Which is not... Which is... Odd. Can this possibly be twice the total of this? It would have to be, this is an even number we worked out from this box, so this group would be divisible by 4. It would be at least worth 12. 9, 2, 1 does work, actually. Yeah, I'm a bit stuck here. I don't know quite what to do. Oh, maybe I need to think about these. Okay, that and that. That is either twice or half that. So if that was 1, 2, 3, that would be 4, 7. They would have to add up to 22. That's impossible. If this was 1, 2, 4, that would be 3, 7. These would add up to 5. Now, I don't know. I don't know quite what I'm doing here. Sorry, I've, I've started to get bogged down, and that's foolish. Oh, look, there was a 2 there, so I could take out 2, 6 as one possible fulfilment of this 8 total. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was a, it was a lovely flowing start, and then I've, I've started banging my head against a bit of a brick wall. These and these being so variable possibilities are not helping me. Right, 8 there. Now, come on, let's think about this row again. So, do I need to think of all the possibilities that use 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7? 
Oh, that's quite interesting. There's a 6-8 pair there and a 6-8 pair there. That's a 6-8 pair. I had not seen this. You will be unsurprised to learn. So we've got 14 on this white duped. That pair adds up to 13 or 15 and includes a 9. Well, it can't be 9-6. So it's 9-4, adding up to 13. So there's no 4 in this group. Right, now the possibilities are very limited. 1, 2, 3 there is impossible because that would leave 4, 7 here, but that can't add up to 5.5 or 22. So 7 is in that group of cells and not in this pair, which is now a 3, 5 pair. There's no 3 in that group. It's a 1, 2, 7 set. They add up to 10. This set adds up to 20. 5 is too little. Uh, this is a 3-4 pair. Maybe that's more important. So we take 3 out of those cells. This pair adds up to 14 because it's double 7, not half it. So that's either 5, 9 or 6, 8. This adds up to 20. That adds up to 14. That's 34, isn't it? 10, yes. 34 from our total of 45 for the row. I hope you know the secret. I'm not sure if I've used it already in this video, that 1 to 9, which populate every row, column and box, always add up to 45. That's going to leave 11 for these cells. So they must be 1, 2, 3, 5. And that is incredibly helpful. 5, 2, 1, 3. We know the full order. Wow. That's lovely, isn't it? I think that's really neat. So this is not 5, 9. That's 6, 8. This is 4, 7, 9. That makes 20. That's fine. That was all due to this pair, a Sudoku, naked pair. Typical, if I may say so. Right, there is a seven in this pair. Now, what does that, so what does it go with? I don't know, it could be seven and one with two, five, but there, there could actually be quite a lot of possibilities. Oh, there, there, that's a three X wing, so it is either 7, 1 or 7, 5. So that is could add up to 8 or 12. Can these add up to 13 or 11? They can add up to 11 with a 9, 2. 5, 7, that would be a 1. Or if that's 7, 1 and they add up to 8. These can't add up to 9, but they could add up to 7. 5, 2, 7, 1, that would be a 9. Wow, so that comes down to... Okay, and what's the group think? So if that's 7, 1, this is 9, 2, 5, which is 16. These can't add up to 32. They would add up to 8. That's a significant total. If this is 7, 5... This is 9, 2, 1, which is, ooh, which is 12, and leaves this being either 6, 1, 2, 3, or 24, which is 9, 8, 7. I can't rule either of those out. That's really irritating, but it serves me right. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. It's clever, this. This is fun. Um, now, I'd forgotten that that was an even group. Oh, I can get rid of all these colours. Don't need them for anything anymore. This was a group of even cells. 6 and 24 fit the bill fine. What was the other alternative? I can't remember now. 8. That's even as well. Bother, bother, bother. Oh, this can't be 9, 8, 7. Because what would you put on the black dot? It could be 1, 2, 3. With 1, 2 on the black dot. And if this added up to 8... It couldn't be 1, 3, 4, could it? There's no pair that would go on the black dot. It would be 1, 2, 5. And there's always a 1, 2 pair on the black dot. And that is 3 or 5. And that is actually very helpful. So this isn't a 2. This isn't a 1. Now what? Over here? I mean, there's too many possibilities to go into that. Up here and here, I think that's the same. Down here. This black dot. This is a bit more interesting, perhaps. 
I mean, there's a lot of possibilities for this number. Three one would make those add up. No, there's too many. That's not what to do. I've been looking at this black dot and trying to ignore it for a while. What are the digits we've got left in this box? One, two, three, five, six, eight. I can think of various combinations straight away that would work on that. Such an interesting puzzle. Right. I don't think I meant to look at the totals for those either. These either add up to six or eight. Oh, these now add up to 12 or 16, don't they? 921 or 925. Yeah, that's just not interesting. Come on, Mark. Is it really down here? Oh, these add up to 13 or 15. It's not because of the white doot here. So it's not 15 because that can't be 6, 9 or 8, 7. So these add up to 13. They're not using 8, 5 or 6, 7. That's a 4, 9 pair. Now options are much more limited here. We've got one, two, five, seven to put in the box. Now, what about this pair and this pair? Whatever that is, it's half this side. So these have to add to an even number and that is even. So this has to be even, right? They add up to 10 or 12. So these add up to five or six. Well, they can't add up to 6, so they do add up to 5. These add up to 10. Now we're getting things done. Uh, Sudoku does that 4 and 3. Um, this is a 1, 5, 7. Now, what's going on down here? 4 and that has to be at least a 5. Can't be a 1. 4 and 5 would work with 9 and 1. 4 and 7 would also work with 9 and 1, but either way around, that is a 1. Okay, so th that doot is fulfilled, whatever happens here. But that 5-7 pair fixes the 6-7 along there. The 9 has fixed that 8-9 pair. Now, I've got one five six triple there, a 2-3-8 puzzle there. I really like this puzzle, and I really think it's got legs as a puzzle. It, it's so interesting. I would do other puzzles like this, I think. One, two. I often don't say that. Nine there. This is just Sudoku now. That can't be a two. That can't be a one. It still isn't getting resolved, annoyingly. Um, that's a one, five, seven, triple. So this is an eight, nine pair, which is uninteresting. There is a six up here. And up here there is a four, which is there. And that is five or seven. These are from three, five, six. Do I have to do the maths on these rows? I don't know, maybe. That probably can't be a three because the most you'd get to here is 16. The least you could get to here would be 19. So that's not a three. I, I don't know. I'm not doing the rest of the maths there. I want to find something a little bit more tractable. So, four, seven, nine. Now, this pair and this pair, are they? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's nine possibilities for the total of those two, and the same for these two. I don't trust myself to go through them rigorously enough to rule out all the impossibilities. <sighs> oh, sorry, right now we've got a three five pair there. So that's not five and that's not three. Um, one, two, eight. Oh, God. We've got a three five pair here. Sorry, that doorbell's probably going to ring again in a moment. I don't know why people have let that happen to me. Um, don't know what's going on here. 
was, oh, this has got reduced to four different possibilities. Right, now that's getting interesting. It can't be one, two, because that pair would have to add up to six without a one or a two. One, nine is impossible, because that would be 18 or four and a half. So that's a six. This now adds up to 12 or 14, making this add up to six or seven without using a six there can't add up to 6, can't be a 1-5 or a 2-4 pair. So this adds up to 14, this adds up to 7, and it is 5-2. And they're all suddenly resolved. Right, that can't be 1, that can't be 2. Oh no, are we not getting any of these fixed? We're not. That's very irritating. 6, 8, 3, 5. How did that not do more damage? It just didn't. Um, oh, we're nearly there though. Come on, let's see what else we can do. I must have missed oh, this clue. Oh no, I haven't. That is nine or 11 and it fulfills that. I haven't missed it. I used it. Four, eight, that's worked fine. 14, 13, right, this pair. They add up to nine, 11, or 13. So this pair adds up to 8, 10, 12, or 14. It can't be 8, because this can't be a 3, 5 pair because of that cell. 10 would be 3, 7, or 4, 6. Yeah, I know, this is not what to do. There's too many possibilities to work on. To work on that, sorry. Um, one of those, okay, this pair and that pen. Or if I, ah, no, maybe I haven't resolved this. Oh, two, that's a 157 triple, so that's a two. Honestly, why don't you just do the straightforward thing? So this can't be five because that total's no good. So that's a one, that adds up to 12. This adds up to six up this side. Now I've got five, six pair looking at that. Now this hasn't worked at all. I've got this wrong because the three is not consecutive to 12. Gosh, why have I done this wrong? So the alternative was the 8 and 16. The 16 was going to be 9, 5, 2, which would be opposite 1, 7 here. So 2 was right there, but for some reason I ruled that that was a 1, but it's actually a 5. Okay, that's fine. 16, 8, that all works. It's going to do everything actually for me. It's probably going to finish the whole crazy puzzle. Right, this dupe works now, seven and eight. That one works. That's become a seven. I might be able to do this pair. No, I can't. 10 there and 10 there. They can be eight, nine in either order. This has become a nine though. Now, we're selecting from three, four, six, and seven here. Is that gonna help with this? These were adding up to nine, 11, or 13. So these add up to an even number. And interestingly, that even number is going to be 10 because it's made up of either two odd numbers, three and seven, or two even numbers, four and six. So the even number there is 10. So these do add up to nine or 11. And that is either six, three, six, five, or eight, three. Oh, look, I've got this one doing Sudoku. That, that, you know, it always helps if you actually do Sudoku. These were 9 or 11. That ah, still hasn't been resolved. 6, 3 or 8, 3. Bother. Uh, that can't be a 3. This pair adds up to 10, we worked out. So that is either 6 or 3. Now, what about this pair, then? That is either... Well, it's not 6-6, six, six. so it's either 9, four, 11, or 14. This pair could be 10. 
No, it couldn't be 10, because that would be 3, 6 to, be, to go with 4, 6. So 10 doesn't work, and that can't be 9. Now, if this is 11 or 14, 6, 8 would allow that to be 7, 6. I'm letting myself get very confused by these numbers now. There's probably something much more helpful to do, like, like use this white dot which says that that is either a one. Oh, look, it can't be a five or a seven. So that's not a six, that's a three. This, oh, hang on, this can't be a two or a four. Ah, the center cannot hold, things fall apart. What have I got wrong there? This is one, six, eight, or nine, and that doesn't go with any of the possibilities here. So maybe I've got this flawed. Nine or 11, I thought, there. And that, that, that was just Sudoku, that had to be right. Nine or 11, this has to add up to eight, 10, or 12. But for it to be even, I've either got to use the two remaining even digits in the row, 6 and 4, or the two remaining odd ones, 3 and 7. That must be 10. So if that's 4 or 7, is that true? 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 1, 2. I believe it is. This must be 3 or 6, but neither 3 or 6 lets any possible digit into that cell. That is so weird. What have I done wrong, and when did I do it? probably made a mistake like this 952 thing. Six, but I thought that was all right. Let's go back to when I did that. See if I can find it from there. So I believe that 952125, that all looked right. Now why didn't I think this could be a three in the column? Yeah, that's interesting. Let's, let's just row back a bit. Seven and one I can do there. In fact, I can do 7 and 5 down here. That's a 7. Now, for some reason, I've claimed this can't be a 3 in the corner in my pencil marking. It could be a typo. Or was it because I added these up? If these add up to 8, this group adds up to 37. So to be consecutive, there's an 18 and a 19. So three wouldn't contribute to either of those totals. That's why I took it out there. So they are going to be 18 and 19 now. I mean, it just looks like that's right to me, but something's going to go wrong in a moment. This can't be one or five. That is a nine. And here we are again, with this being three, four, six, or seven. Oh yes, I've got the Sudoku I can do here. Three, one, maybe I did that the wrong way around or something. I don't think I did. Um, and this being four, six, seven, three, two, five, one, eight, or nine. Well, the only way I could possibly fulfill that at the moment is eight there and seven there. So let's try that in case I just did something dumb before. That's going to do 6, 8. This becomes a 1. That's not a 7. Let's just use the Sudoku. That gives us 4, 9 pair there. That's a 3. That works here. 7 and 3. The 8, 9 sorts those out. They seem to be all right. This is a 4, 6 pair. But this is the problem. I've got 11 here and 9 here. I've got 14 and 13 there. That's worked fine. Wow, what have I got wrong here? This is so annoying. That's two or five. That's one or two. These are from one, five, and nine. I mean, whatever I do is not going to fix this, is it? It really isn't. What did I mess up here? Everything looks so good. Oh, 14 and 13, that works. 8 and 4, that works. OK, 
but this stuff doesn't. 11 and 9. Someone is going, this serves you right for making the mistake long ago, which we all spotted. 18 there, 19 there, 8, 16, 7, 8, 7, 14, 13, 11 and 10, 5 and 10, 7 and 14, 11 and 22. Everything works. That's 12, 8. Wow, what the heck went wrong here? Ah, well, maybe when I was reducing the possibilities here early on. But that's almost kind of irrelevant to what happened later. OK, let's go all the way back to when I was reducing those possibilities. Back here, wasn't it? No, maybe before that, when I put in the 6, 8 and the 4, 9 pair in box four. I'm going all the way back to that now. Ooh, it's a long way, isn't it? This is painful. But I need to find what I did wrong. I do want to solve this puzzle because I think it's really interesting. Now, my goodness, it's a long way. Oh, that six eight pair, that was what got me going at all. That was the result of Sudoku on the sixes and eights then that had to have a 9 in, had to add to 13 or 15, had to be 9, 4. This had to add up to 8, so that ended up being a 3 because it had a 5 in, 5, 3, that's right. So, I mean, everything else I did after that, I think it was genuinely right. What on earth? When did I next start messing with box four? I'm clicking through all the moves I did. I really haven't touched it much since then. Now, what was, what was I doing here? I was looking at this pair and that pair and I started, oh, this is seeing a three five pair. So that's not three or five. And it's not three below. So this is all right. These add up to three, but it can't be three. And I think I said it can't be nine because nine doesn't work. So that couldn't be a one. That had to be a six. Then these add up to eight or 14. But eight, ooh, eight would work. Now, what did I do then? I said it had to be 14. Oh, do you know why I said that? You probably do. I said it because I thought that if they added up to 8, this pair had to add up to 16, which was impossible now. But they could add up to 4. So I was unjustified in making that an 8. And that is where my problems stemmed from, I believe. Well, that's what I now believe. Let's go back and see if I can now take it forward from here. This is either a 1, 3 making 4, or it makes 7 and it's 5, 2. So that's not an 8. Let's do that at least. I mean, it's little enough. It's little enough. Let's go up here now. We've still got that 1, 5, 7 triple. So this is a 2. Now, that can't be a 1 because this 5, 7 pair wouldn't go with the 1. So that's 5, that's 7, that's 1. I think this is going to work now. That's so weird. This adds up to... I keep thinking that's 14. This is an annoying glitch in my brain. It's 16. So that's a 5. 6 and 3 and 7 there. That becomes a 6. This is done as a 9. Now look what's going to happen here. Now this is much more open at the moment because I haven't filled in bogus numbers down here. Right. What a recalcitrant mess. That's five and seven, that's done. Okay, so we've got three, four, six and seven here. This digit is one, two, five, eight or nine. Now there are a lot of 
Well, they're not that many. One and nine can't be here. So there's a few possibilities. Now maybe I think about this. If that's 6, 8, this is 5, 2. If it's 6, 2, this is 1, 3. Now, if, well, I mean, this is the point, I guess. If that's 5, 2, then we get 8 here, 7 here, That becomes a 3. Yeah. And this is always going to be 7. Wow, I mean, this is quite a deep bit of thinking, but we've got there because of the errors I made earlier. If that was 5, 2 now, that's an 8, which is even. This is odd. In fact, it's a 7, and that's odd. So this has to be even, 4 or 6. But we know that this is even, and that's odd, and now this dot can never be fulfilled because you've got an odd total above and an odd total below. So this is not 5, 2. Whoa, that's brilliant. So this is 1, 3, and this does work. We get a 2 here, 8 here, 5 here. The 8 there gives us 6, 8 above. Um, that's 6. No, this can't be 8 anymore. This can't be 7 now. Come on, what's going on here? That's not a 1, that's not a 2. This 4, 9 pair has not been done. This can't be 6 or 3 from the numbers below it. Right, that is 4 or 7. These add up to 11 or 13. These can't add up to 14 or 12. There is no possibility. So that's an 11 sum down there. Oh, I had this one doing the Sudoku for me here. I'm still not noticing it because I'm just oblivious to that for some reason today. This can't be a 3, so this is no longer a 2. This is a 5. That's going to just do more Sudoku. Um, now, 11 here. So either 10 or 12 here. That has to be even. There we go. We're actually going to finish this puzzle now properly correctly and finally and with degrees of embarrassment over what I was doing earlier but it is actually I mean it is for me very satisfying to actually get to the right solution even if I have made erroneous deductions along the way and had to fix them um, and that is kind of a function of the way I do Sudoku unfortunately but there we go right 2564 now this pair we can do that 14 there 13 this side that is very helpful to all the triples down here. Seven, four, nine, four. That's become an eight. Let's go across and do nine, eight, seven, three, one, three, nine at the top. And I don't think we've messed anything up this time, finally. There we go. And that solution is correct. The solution's been input by MicroStudy. Thank you. So that is the answer to a puzzle that should have taken me about 20 minutes and took me 40. Um, there we go. Sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you just have to fix them. There's a life lesson in there for all of us. Thanks for watching, as always. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.